What we're going to talk about is this is a Straight Flex Original. This is a composite paper material that does inside and outside corners that replaces metal corner bead. It is about twice the cost to buy this over metal corner bead, about 20 cents a foot. However, it requires no mechanical fasteners. Um, you embed it only with the drywall compound, so you're saving steps and materials there. So the actual installation cost is lower than metal corner bead. It's also uh, much more forgiving. The metal corner bead, once it gets it's in an eight or 10 foot strip, once it gets bent or damaged, you can't use it. This comes on a 50 foot roll. You can get it wet, you can twist it any way you want. It doesn't have a lot of memory. If you have something that's an inside corner, you can fold it to more than over 90 degrees, into 80 degrees. And if you have open, like a bay window or a vaulted ceiling, it can go up to 120 degrees. So it's very versatile um, and it gives you super professional results without a lot of skill. Um, what you use, and like I said, you use the compound, you embed it directly in. Once you put a layer of compound on it, you embed it, you use a taping knife or a joint knife or an adjustable trowel, and give it one pass, let it dry, you will sand it, and then come back and do another skim coat and you're ready to paint. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple other tools that are in your drywall planogram. The first is a uh, corner roller. It's Tool Pro Corner Roller. This is uh, used to apply mud into the corners. Um, you can use a joint knife or a taping knife if you put it in. Uh, this makes it a lot easier. Um, this is what it looks like on the inside without that. So you can see how it really gets into that corner and pushes the compound the material into the corner. Um, and you just dip it right into your mud, just like you would use a paint roller, really. Um, and just give it a quick coat into the corner. Embed your material. And go back and give it a second one, pushing a little bit firmer. Now what you're doing is you're embedding it into that corner and pushing out the additional compound. You're getting a really good mechanical bond. At this point, you would use a, a joint knife and clear each sided, or you can use an adjustable corner trowel like this one and just make a single pass and you'd remove the extra compound. You do another one. This, usually you'd go from floor to ceiling so you wouldn't get that, that rough spot there. Um, you can see how that's smoothed it out. It's forced all the compound out. It's embedded really tightly in the corner. Now all you need to do is let this dry and then come back and do another coat and feather it out. Um, so you can see how easy that went in. Uh, and I am by no means a professional. Those who cannot do, teach. And that is what was going on here. <laughs>